Hello folks and welcome back to Farming Simulator with Gaming Goose. Me, I'm just doing a little test of the soil on my field. I forgot to do it. Bought the equipment to do it and never did it. But it's handy that I've got this equipment because I can use this soil sampler to um, sample the soil on a new field. So I'm going to sample this, get it sent off to the lab and then I want to ask you for a little favour. So stay tuned and welcome back to the farming series. I think we're on episode 5 now. So I'm just going to put this away and then I want to ask you all for a big favour. Right, hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, I'm just prepping for the England game. Um, they're playing Switzerland tonight, so good luck. Hopefully we get the win. I did uh, did fancy us to win the Euros, but I must admit after watching the last few games, <laughs> I don't fancy us at all. I think it's going to be uh, Spain, to be honest. They look good. But hopefully Gareth can stop being so negative and bring Summit to, to the table. Let the shackles off a bit, let them play. But anyway, the favour I wanted to ask you was, I've got myself a brand new microphone, mid-price, mid wasn't too expensive, so hopefully it's enhancing my videos a little bit. Um, I want to give you guys as good a content as I possibly can, so I thought I definitely need a microphone because I was initially recording just off the phone. Um, so yeah, let me know, I'd like to hear what you think, if you've uh, been watching this channel for a while or if you're new, feel free to check out another video. And just let me know if this microphone's uh, any good. Really do appreciate uh, your advice. But yeah, it's good to be back on the farm. We're already on episode 5. Absolutely love this little area. Early morning. And in keeping with the realistic series, which we've been doing, because I do like a realistic series, that's why I try to do everything first person, keep everything as realistic as possible. We have got, just as it's approaching winter... We've got a little village fay going on. Um, now they wanted some produce. So, I didn't want to sell my produce this early, but I am going to. I'm going to load up this trailer. I've got a few strawberries. I've got some tomatoes, some green peppers in all my three little locations. And I'm going to take them down to the shop where they're going to process them and take them down to the fair. And the peppers... I, uh, I want to take them straight down to the fair. It starts at 1 o'clock today, so I am in a bit of a rush. Need to get all these things loaded up. Oh no. Need to get all these things loaded up. Come on, goosey, better than this. Here we go. If I shorten that, that'll load it a lot better. There we go. Fortlift trained. So yes, I want to get this down as quickly as possible because they need it for one o'clock. Obviously, um, we don't want to be doing it yesterday because they want the produce as fresh as possible. And you can't get no fresher than this. Straight from the farm, straight down. So anyone who's buying the, uh, whatever they're using the peppers for, whether it's the wrap stand, the chicken wrap stand, maybe some fajitas, chuck some of my fresh peppers in there. And it's going to be nice. It's the first first thing I've contributed to this um, to this neighbourhood. They're going to be chowing down on my delicious green peppers, which are at the next location. These are the lettuce. It's down at the other location. If you've been following the series, where the honey is. So we'll get everything loaded up, get down to the other uh, area, and we'll. Um, keep the uh, village fair in some food but what a lovely lovely morning again on the farm let me know if you're enjoying it and let me know what your predictions are for the Euros, I've watched every game and I must admit I mean I do prefer the World Cup obviously because you're getting teams from different um, from all different parts of the world not just the Euros, not just Europe but I've been a little bit disappointed with the games Every single game, I normally watch every game, no matter what it is, I try to watch every game because I love football, but I've found it so difficult to watch any of the games, even, well, especially the England ones, but I watched last night's game, France-Portugal, and you just think, oh, if you're a betting man, just have nil-nil every game. 
every game is nil nil. But I think both games so far have gone to well, no, they haven't actually have they nearly gone all the way. But obviously Spain scored in the 120th minute, so nearly both games go in the full distance to penalties. Ugh, I find it a little bit boring. There's no open games. Nobody seems to be really going for it. Oh, texticles coming through. Texticles. So yes, hopefully Southgate just says, you know what? Do your thing and just win. Easy. But if you follow football, you'll know the last time we played Switzerland... I think it went to penalties, didn't it, right in the Nations League? So it's going to be a tough game. But the good thing is, France have got Spain next. So that's one of them out. So if we can go through, what are we saying? England Spain final. I've just come back from Spain on holiday. Yes, I know how to say Cerveza. Gracias. Anyway, back to the farming. So these are the peppers. I just want to, I'm going to move them around a bit because I want it to be as neat as possible. As I said, I want it to be a realistic series. I have been also looking at other fields to buy. There's one right behind me for 35,000. A small field is normally around 60 to 70,000 for a very small one. Now, I'm trying to calculate if it will be worth it because the field across from me is hot, basically half price, 32,000, but the trouble is there's nothing growing on it there's not been any agriculture or farming on it whatsoever it's just grass so I'm trying to decide do I buy it and get some livestock buy it cheap and I can buy the livestock with it maybe go down the sheep route get some wool turn the wool into fabric turn the fabric into clothes that's a good little money earner a three-way production chain or do I plow it and turn it into a field just leave this here for now pick it up on my way back but the trouble with that is if I if I buy a field which I like to do as well if I buy a field for 60 70 thousand and it's already got crops on you can if you buy it at the right time when the crops are ready to plant ready to uh, harvest obviously that's free money you buy in the field when it's ready to harvest, you go down where you harvest and you sell the produce and you get your money back there. So I'm going to look at how much produce you get per acre. Look at the size of the fields and work out which is going to be the most beneficial for me. Because obviously it's a tight series. I've got less than £5,000 in the bank. I'm going to be selling this produce today which will probably get me to about seven, 000, eight thousand. So I've not got an awful lot of money. So if I can pick up a field, if I can try and grind to 60,000, buy a field, harvest it, sell it, would that be better? Or would it be better just to grind to the 30,000, which would be a lot easier to do. I'd only have to do a couple of contracts, get to 30,000, buy that field and put some livestock on. We shall have a think. So here we are, the moment of truth, how much we're going to get for all this produce. It's not going to sell the peppers. So just, um, it's a bit of a difficult sale point actually that, and especially if you're in a truck. I don't actually know how, I mean you'd have to, I guess, come down with a forklift and take them off one by one because it's only just getting this tiny trailer on. But we did have just below 5,000. It's still going in, what are we going to get? Come on, 7,233, so we've made about three, three and a half thousand. So now I'm going to just nip into the shop, then we'll go down to the village fair, because I'll show you here, look, no one sells them, I mean I might have to reverse him, but they don't buy him. So I need to go down to the village fair, so let's go down and see the beautiful setup of the first country village fair. And here we are, we're just approaching the village fair, obviously there's nobody here yet, it doesn't start till 1 o'clock today, it's approaching half 11, so I've uh, done it in plenty of time, I've only got one pallet, 
which is all they required but let's be honest that's all I had anyway and this is the little fair it's going to be really busy down here late, later on they're obviously going to pay for this as well don't want to drive through goalposts so yeah looks like it's going to be a nice little day for the villagers down here football going on there's going to be some cricket I'll show you around in a minute when we've sold these just want to see how much I'm going to get for them money has gone down why has my money gone down I had nearly 8,000 what have I done where has that money gone what have I done with that try and figure that out in a minute I don't know what's just happened to that money um, I'm confused I'll have a look in a minute it's obviously took some payment for something but yeah this is going to be the little area the villagers will be looking forward to it as would I looks quality you've got a little cricket pitch although let's have a look here so somebody's bowling to me tonk I mean you get four runs every every shot you only have to hit it ten yard old-fashioned goal post just solid wood and this is the little village fair look they've already got everything ready to go they're all just down at shop having their last little coffee break before they come up to finish off my peppers will be a nice little addition there's a couple more stalls opening up later so I'm going to get out of here and let them carry on and that'll be the end for this episode but as I say if you could all help me out with the microphone issue I really want to get these videos as uh, as good as possible microphone seems a tricky thing to get right so hopefully we've cracked it this time I have upgraded my equipment as well so these videos should be almost in 4k if not definitely 60 fps shut these and we'll get back down to the farm so thank you very much for your help and we'll finish off for today if you've stayed right to the end you are a legend amongst the farming world timed it perfectly it's just starting to rain not good for the villagers when I said the fair starts at one o'clock it's bang on one o'clock and it started to rain but it is Britain it is England so what do you expect the people will have to expect that when they look out in the morning they see the sunshine you're still gonna need a jumper and a raincoat ah uh, beautiful England although in real life it's like this anyway in summer in game it's approaching the end of November so you kind of expect it but that's going to be it for this episode thank you very much I'm just going to put all the equipment away hopefully you enjoyed episode 5 and I will catch you all in the next episode when hopefully we're starting off by saying congratulations England enjoy your weekend everybody and um, see you soon